So day one, we have bought a bungalow. So I will show you inside. It needs a lot of work. So one little bedroom. Artex all over the ceiling, all over the walls. So that's gonna to have to be skimmed, not too bad though. No central heating. Fireplace that's got to come out. And again, doors that have got to be uh, replaced. Again, Artex everywhere. All the walls have been Artexed. So all that's got to come out. That's today's job, taking all the bits and pieces out. And then into the bathroom. Bathroom, um, the shower's gonna come out, it's pretty new, but we're gonna sell that. Original sink, nasty. And uh, strangely enough, the bathroom has got a safe under the floor. Very peculiar. And into the main bedroom. Lovely pink ceiling and uh, cupboard in the corner, which has obviously got to come out. So, uh, a nice original electrics down in the corner, and then background here. Started to pull the carpet up, it's all disintegrating, and uh, the wardrobes they're going to be coming out today. Uh, window probably um, needs redoing and then into the lovely kitchen I'll show you into the kitchen so beautiful uh, shade of yellow uh, nice old units it's got a larder this is also going to come out and uh, <laughs> original cooker so all of this is obviously got to be ripped out it did have film on the windows, which we've ripped out this morning, and into the lean-to. And this is uh, going to be the biggest budget. So the lean-to, um, you have to step down, and uh, this is going to be replaced with a proper extension at the same height as the kitchen. So if I go back around this way, you can see um, it's not too bad today because it's, it's really cold. Um, but uh, today's a bit milder, so it's not too bad. And then out into the garden. So the uh, garden is uh, down at a slope. A very strange um, garage, which is found out is asbestos. So that's got to come out. It's huge, actually, but it's falling down. So if I go down into the garden, I've got a big pond. So... The huge garden is going to be turfed over and then here we look back at the back bedroom and the extension this is going to have across here decking and the extension here will be taken up so back into the garden it's a very very long garden a great big tree at the end so neaten this up a bit and uh, looking back you can see the large garage which is really falling down and then into the garden it's up a jungle end down here so uh, more trees an old bench and a shed I'm not quite sure what was going on here but uh, the old lady that lived here had some sort of uh, crockery graveyard. Very strange. Anyway, day one. So we'll see what happens. Very interesting under the um, carpets, which are disintegrating. Some lovely old newspapers, which I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do with them, but i do something. And then, um, yeah, I've got a new job in here. As I took up the carpet, uh, the under, well, I didn't really have it under me. The back of the carpet is uh, disintegrated. And now I'm having to scrape it all off. So, 
keep me out of mischief. I shut the house. So day two. Howard is demolishing the corner cupboard. Really enjoying himself there. And then coming through into here, stripped one more. It's just got this foam stuff left on the underneath the wallpaper. And the rest of it is uh, on the floor. So looking a little bit bigger in here now. And going through into the living room, taking up the carpets, remove the shelving, that's gone now. And uh, it's loaded up in the trailer, ready to take to the dump. So day two. Howard is demolishing the corner cupboard. Really enjoying himself there. And then coming through into here, stripped one more. It's just got this foam stuff left on the underneath the wallpaper. And the rest of it is uh, on the floor. So looking a little bit bigger in here now. And going through into the living room, taking up the carpets, remove the shelving, that's gone now. And uh, it's loaded up in the trailer, ready to take to the dump. So this is day three, and as you can see, I'm insisting on uh, people, no masks, no entry. Um, kitchen has been removed. Well, it's been dismantled. As you can see, some interesting electrics here and there. All oh, this is gone. And then in the main bedroom, as well as the raspberry ceiling, I've now stripped some of the walls. <coughs> and found this delightful colour on me. Not quite sure what you'd call it. Um, underneath the wallpaper, layers of wallpaper, there is um, more of this horrible art mixing, which I had attempted to get off over here. Um, I have got quite a bit of it off. So it's a bit of a bit of a job. And then on this wall, the layers of wallpaper are scraper really stubborn so here we have uh, the wallpaper and then underneath the wallpaper is this horrible mold but that is from the wallpaper and underneath the wallpaper is the wall but that is one hell of a job and I'm not enjoying it so I've turned my attention to the chocolate brown wall. The cupboard's out in the corner. And then this wall has also got wallpaper on, as has around the window frame. The window frames are a bit, a bit monkey. Um, and as I do it, there is um, some gaps in the window. And on this side, um, this is all loose as I've done it. So all this has got to be really done. And um, steamers had two refills today. Um, and it's about to have another one, but we're going to have a cup of soup first. So that's the progress today. So this is day five um, in the back bedroom, the main bedroom. The walls have been stripped now of the wallpaper, mostly. Still a little bit more to do. Um, but underneath is our text, which of course um, contains asbestos. So we've got to be really careful with that, but we're masked up all the time. I've stripped the whole of the room. There's a little messages underneath. So this must have been about 40, 50 years ago. So I wonder if they're still together. So the horrible brown wall. This one um, has been stripped. This one is the absolute pig. And underneath the, underneath the paper is backing paper. And I, I usually do a st steam on this, but then trying to take the bit underneath off is absolutely awful. And uh, it's hours and hours of work on here. Um, but it's pickled. The, the, the paper's here, and that'll come off. 
but behind the paper is the backing paper which has gone mouldy, although the walls aren't mouldy. And then I have to take that off as well. And that is an horrible job. As you can see, lots of mess. The kitchen now, I've actually switched to doing the stripping of the, the hallway because this was, I did it on the first day and there's just the backing paper, which is much, much nicer to do. Easy job. The kitchen has now gone. Most of it's just gone off to the tip. There's still some bits to go. So as you can see, it looks much, much bigger in here. Um, the walls had various layers of... Um, Tiles, There's still some of the tiles up on the top there, which are horrible. Um, and there was a cupboard in the corner here, that's now gone. Great big nails, nothing was screwed, everything was nailed down. The holes where the um, cooker was, sinks out, um, but it looks bigger. Um, the thing is what to do with this. We've phoned the planning office and didn't have plans in to do an extension. Um, from the previous owner. So this is just a lean-to. So we're going to swap ideas because it's too costly to put plans in and footings and everything else that's going to go with it. So we're going to put a conservatory on here, but the plan is still to make it the same level and then to bring the ceiling up, like an apex roof really, um, and then have glass around at least two sides and the ceiling as well. This side, there is glass underneath there, as you can see. If I go over here, it's a lovely cooker still here. Um, so this is glass underneath the faux wood cladding. So coming back here, um, and this is what was on the, on the walls. Um, this is the original outside wall, as you can see. I don't know why it was painted khaki at one time. Um, but I'd like this to be all the same level and then obviously the units all going in. Keep it very neutral. Doors have got to be uh, changed, might keep the door handles. The rest of it is uh, much the same. The fittings for the bathroom are gonna go on, um, but this is probably gonna be one of the last jobs we do. And then into a small bedroom. Trying to decide where the switches and the electrics are going to go because everything in here um, has been trunked so the electrics have been um, right on the skirting boards which obviously now is not allowed and this is the wire which was in trunking coming down the wall um, and deciding where the radiator is going to go as well because it's got no heating in here so good job on doing something that's warm so that's where we are so far and to say my arms ache from uh, scraping the walls would be an understatement. Just hoping they're going to get toned up. So. so this is the garage. And although it looks like bricks, it's not. This is just board, as you can see here, into the garage. And a uh, few bits uh, that are going to be taken away scrap, hopefully. So I need to take all these out. And a safe, sadly. No great things inside. Um, trailer waiting to be filled up tomorrow to take to the tip again. And uh, a few chairs to go to the tip as well. Don't there's much else in here. Looks like a few tools and things. Or workbench. So they can go tomorrow as well. And few bits and pieces but nothing special but as you can see from the walls it's asbestos horrible stuff so this is gonna have to have the specials taken out oh nice old piece of wood I've just found that's quite nice keep that a few little treasures I found in here that's it. I'm not sure what day it is. Um, it's a Wednesday, so uh, I think this is the second week. Not an awful lot to um, show, but the walls have been chiseled out now. We're ready for the electrics. So that's kept uh, Howard out of mischief. And uh, here and here. Get rid of that horrible trunking. Um, 
into the little bedroom. Found some damp on the wall. So I've taken that off, but can't really find out where it's coming, but I think it's the guttering outside because it's uh, that's an outside wall. Um, and the outside is damp when it's raining, so I think that's the, the guttering, but nothing, uh, nothing serious, hopefully. Um, finished stripping the walls in the hallway here. Um, took this all off. We've still got this horrible box with the electrics in. That's got to come off. Um, started taking the tiles off in the bathroom. Uh, more lovely colours. And, uh, but it's not urgently needed at the moment. Main bedroom, again. Finished stripping the walls. Um, and the walls have been chiselled, ready to um, put the electrics in. We did find out, actually, for the next door neighbour, that the message up here must have been for when the house was built. And it's the couple that lived here. Douglas and I think it's Doris. So, uh, until Douglas' death, must have been quite successful. And into the kitchen. The kitchen has gone and uh, we've taken the, well I haven't, the boys have taken the, the cladding down. Um, and behind it there are nails everywhere, which I'm finding as I'm trying to strip off the loose paintwork. And uh, more chiselling down there. A little bits of um, applique paper. It wasn't a whole um, piece, but she must have cut it out, stuck it on. I don't know what she stuck it on with, but it's really hard to get it off. And um, more messages from D&D. &D. Um, and we've got to take the floor up. Uh, underneath the whole of the bungalow has got these dark tiles. You can't really see them now because they're absolutely filthy. We're going to leave those down, obviously. But in the kitchen, it's got two layers of lino on top, which has been stuck down. Just see a little bit of it there going closely uh, and that is uh, oh god not a job I want to do I'm waiting for a plasterer to come today to give me a quote for how much it is to skim replaster the whole place and I'm hoping I'm not going to get any more shocks because today we've had um, a quote to do the conservatory which you can see is not enormous um, but it came out at 37,000 so <laughs> we won't be going that way, but I want it to look nice, but um, it's an awkward shape because if I could take you outside, oh, I can't take you outside, I'll get a key. <laughs> it's not a straight wall. So, right here, you can see it's an angle. So at the moment, look at the, the house. And it's because um, it's a shared drive, and then going through to the garage, and there's a step down from next door, which is higher. Um, I sold some stuff out of the garage, so what I thought was the safe is actually a metal cupboard. Um, I've sold, and uh, a rusty old shelving unit, amazingly. Anyone want a nice cooker? Um, I had a word with my friend Paul, he's going to be employed to do the garden. So, so we found behind the cladding here is glass. I think I said that last time, so other bits waiting to go to the scrap. But nothing really to report. Next thing I'm going to get it in the wiring for the for the electrics. Um, it'd be nice to have some heating here. It is absolutely freezing, and the only reason I put the steamer on is to keep warm. <laughs> And uh, as you can, I'm not going to show you what I look like because that would scare all of you. But if I just show you my trousers and my shoes, mmm, <laughs> filthy, absolutely filthy. Sort of been my element, but uh, there you go. Uh, update soon. Day, Paul is helping at least, well, he's doing it all. He's cutting back the front of the garden. done before and I'm sure on this <laughs> you're in the middle yeah <laughs> but, uh, it is huge so this one's gone well, there's a lot of space it's taking up so.
Yep. So, made that little discovery in the garage now. Managed to sell. That's gone. So the cupboard, which I thought was a safe, it's not it was a metal cupboard, and the rusty old uh, shelf unit I've sold. That's good. And found another little gem. Down in the bottom of the garden was a 1950s galvanised dustbin. Is that one? Oh, sorry, you can see my shadow. That's not good. It is freezing, so I'm glad um, Paul is doing the garden and not me. So, uh, nothing much to report. There you go.